Good morning, class. Welcome back. I'm so excited to have you guys back with us. Although you're not here, but I'm still happy to be back with you. And you see me in our brand new classroom. I'm so excited. I've always liked this classroom better. So I'm so happy to have this classroom and to be here with you guys again, because I was your teacher last year and it got cut short. So I'm so happy I could be able to see you guys again this year. We're gonna go over some of our names of the kids that are gonna be in our class again. While I'm going over these names, I want you to listen really carefully to the beginning sounds of their names, okay? Let's see, who's here with us this year? We have Nathaniel. Can you guys say Nathaniel? Good, say, hey Nathaniel. Next we have Julian, can we all say Julian? Julian, good job. Say, hey, Julian. Next, we have Osiris. Can we say Osiris? Good job. Can you say, hey, Osiris? Next, we have Eva. Can we all say Eva? Say, hey, Eva. Then we have Mateo. Can we all say Mateo? Good. Say, hey, Mateo. Next, we have Amy. Can everyone say, hey, Amy? Amy. Next, we have Ziomara. Can we all say Ziomara? Good. Say, hey, Ziomara. And then we have Langston. Can we all say Langston? Say, hey, Langston. And then we have Andrew. Can everyone say Andrew? Good, say, hey, Andrew. Then we have Faria. Can everyone say Faria? Say, hey, Faria. And last but not least, we have Braxton. Can we all say Braxton? Say, hey, Braxton. So we have no new students in our class today. We have all of the same kids that we all know already. So you will see your friends on Friday in our videos. Make sure you say, hey, and I missed you because I've missed all of my friends and I've missed all of you. Next we are going to read our book. <laughs> now I am in our library where we will read a bunch of books and you guys can come and read some books that we have. The book we are reading today is called My New School. The author, does anyone remember what the author does? The author writes the words. Can you say that? The author writes the words. Good job. And our author is called Kristen Hall. She wrote the words. And let's see who our illustrator is. Our illustrator is Barry Galt. Do we remember what the illustrator does? The illustrator draws the pictures. Good job. Now we're going to get into our book. This isn't you guys' new school, but we're going to read this book anyway. I know some of you guys, well, all of you guys have been here before, but this is our new classroom. So we're going to go through the book. Make sure you have your listening ears on. My new school. I'm going to take my mask off so you guys can hear me a little better. <clears throat> this is my new school. This is his new school. This is where we play. They play on their playground. They're playing basketball. We play on our playground sometimes. This is our art room. That's where they do art and sometimes make a mess, but that's okay.
I draw every day. Let's see what he drew a picture of. He drew a picture of his cat. I think it's a cat. It might be a dog, but it looks more like a cat to me. Eating um, his mom and dad, dropping him off at school. I believe that's his teacher. He drew a picture of him and his teacher. And there's his car. He's driving a fast car. And it looks like a sheriff on a horse. So he draws pictures every day. This is where I count. That's where he does his math with some of his friends. They're all doing some type of math and she's on a computer. I can count to 10. I know a lot of you can count up to 10, but let's count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good job helping me count. This is where I read. This is their library, like our library right here. Let's read this again. I think he likes the books about the tigers. This is where I write. We have a writing center. And we're gonna be writing there a lot more this year than we were last year. So get ready, once you come back, we're gonna be writing. I can write my letters. He wrote all of his letters. He wrote A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. He wrote the whole alphabet. I write every day. He writes every day. He wrote some good words. Cat, sat, mat, rat, pig, big, dig, jig, rig, wig. And all of those are rhyming words. Wrote. Now I write much better. It looks better than it did when he first started. Just like you guys. When we first started, it's not going to look that good, but that's okay. It's going to look good eventually. This is where I learn. He's at school. That's his teacher. Like I'm your teacher. That's where he learns. Soon you will get your turn. He's talking to his little sister. She's gonna get her turn to go to school. Just like someone in our class. Um, Julian has a little brother who's gonna be in the pre-K three this year. Cause we're the big kids now. We're the pre-K four. So Julian's little brother will be in pre-K three. He's gonna get his turn. The end. That was a good book. We're gonna read more and more books every day. Now we are at the math center. And today with math, we are going to learn about simple patterns. I know a lot of you know what patterns are and we went over patterns, but maybe you don't remember exactly what patterns are. Hmm, what is a pattern? A pattern is something that repeats itself over and over. Let me show you a couple of patterns around the room. Here is a pattern with the numbers, but we're just gonna look at the apples. There is a red, green, red, green, red, green, red, green. That's an AB pattern, because it goes red, green, red, green. Here's another pattern on the floor. We have black, white, black, white, black, white. 
So patterns are everywhere, but let's make our own pattern now. I'm gonna randomly pick two colors. I got our teddy bears to help us. Um, I got a green and let's see, yellow. So I'm gonna get a couple of green and yellows out. My favorite color is red. What's you guys' favorite colors? I like those colors too. Pink, blue, I like all of them. Green, every color, I like them all. But today we are only going to do yellow and green, good job. So I'm gonna make an A, B pattern. So I'm gonna start with yellow. That's gonna be my A. So we're gonna go yellow, green. Yellow, no, that's not yellow. Yellow, green. Yellow, green. There's my A, B pattern. We can do these two. Yellow and green. So I have A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B. Yellow, green, yellow, green, yellow, green, yellow, green. I can't wait to make more patterns with you guys later. Hello guys, we are at our sink. And for us to come back to school, we have to all stay healthy. And a major part of staying healthy is washing our hands. So I'm gonna show a little video on what can help us wash our hands hands here's the water so first what you would do is turn on the water of course and then you'll wet your hands just a little bit doesn't have to be too much then we'll get some soap and just a couple of squirts we don't have to have too much and you would rub them on both hands and you can rub them on the back of both hands and in between and you can make sure you get your whole hand and you don't go straight into the water you make sure the soap is all over your hands and it should be really fun if you see the soap all over your hands and you can even count sing a song so we can do the alphabets or count to as high as you can 20 or 30 but we're gonna sing the alphabet song that's just to make sure we get all the dirt off our hands so we go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? And then you go under the water and you make sure you get every little piece of soap all the way off and your hands are nice and clean then you put your hand under the little thing to get us a napkin and you pull it and you can use the napkin and turn off the water make sure your hands are nice and dry with the napkin if you need two napkins you can get two but don't get more than that all right and you dry them off all the way and then you throw your trash in the trash can. That way your hands are nice and clean. We wanna all stay as safe as we can. Now we are back on the carpet and we're gonna play a listening to sounds game. I'm gonna play some sounds and I want you to tell me what it is or what do you think it is that's making the sounds. Let's see. Who knows what that is? Look, it's a cow. A cow makes that sound. A cow mooing. Can you moo like a cow? Like moo, moo. Let's listen for the next one. I wouldn't have got that one right. I thought it was water. 
coming out to wash your hands, but it's actually, it's rain. It's raining outside. That was a good one. Let's listen for the next one. Uh oh. Do we know what that one is? It's the ambulance. Some of you would have said fire truck, but it's the ambulance. That's a good one. I know a lot of you know what that one is. It's a rooster crowing. That's a good one. Let's listen for the next one. We hear this one a lot. This one is an airplane flying by. I thought it was a train outside, but we have a train right next to our classroom, so we're hear that one a lot. Let's see this one. Oh, I know what that one is. It's a baby crying. Oh, poor baby. He probably is hungry. We all have a dog, or at least a neighbor who has a dog. And it's always barking. I know I have two dogs and they're both always barking. So I know that sound. Let's see. It's dogs barking. I knew that was it. Let's see. Ew. It's a pig grunting like. Can you do that? Like a pig. This one sounds like one we heard already. To me, it sounds like rain, but I don't know. We did rain already, so let's see. Oh, it's the waves. It's the ocean. So if you go to the beach next time, just listen for those sounds, for that sound. Let's listen for some more. I don't know what that is. It sounds like someone's walking. Let's see. <gasps> that one's the train. That's an actual real train. Let's listen for the next one. <gasps> I know what that is. I believe that's someone clapping. Let's see. Yes, it's an applause. That's when a lot of people are clapping at once. How we do our round of applause and we all clap like that. It's the same thing. This one sounds like the wind. I don't know if you can. Yep, it's the wind. So, there's plenty of things that make a lot of sounds. So, we have to open our ears and listen for them. Um, at your house, you can hear a lot of things. You may have a park somewhere close to you. Our neighbor's dogs that are barking or your own dogs that are barking. So, listen for those sounds and let me know if you hear any at any time. That is all for our video today. Make sure you guys are going to education.com and playing those games. Um, and I would like you to make some type of pattern or show me a pattern that's at your house. So you can make it and send me the videos. You can send them to my cell phone, tell mom or dad to send me the video to my cell phone or my email. And I can try to put you guys into our videos to show the kids what you are doing. So send me a video of you washing your hands or some type of sounds you hear or you making an AB pattern. Just send them to me and I can put them in our videos so the kids can see you doing them. It was great having class with you guys today and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye.